cooperate with me. So, we'll see. I'm just hanging out here in the backyard, the junkyard. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn that radio off. How's it going today? That's right. What's going on, brother? Big country, how's it going? Yeah, we're, well, I hope we're live. And I stupidly had my radio playing for like the first 45 seconds. I wasn't sure if it was live or not. <laughs> yeah, just chilling in the backyard here. Working on a few things. Nice, nice. <coughs> I just head into the shop now, that's right. Sweet, sweet. <coughs> yeah, I've just been... Actually, I'm cleaning up this side of the steel plate that I smashed the scrap on. I cleaned the other side up already, gave it a coating of like your black asphalt undergarden, underguarding, whichever you want to call it. Anyway, keeps it from sliding around on the stump. So yeah, I'm going to, just been, uh, started sanding this side down here. I'm going to give it a coat of rust resistant paint. I'll see if I can set that up. Grandpa Kevin, how's it going today? Thanks for joining in. That's right, I'll see if I can... There you go. Not sure if that gave it or not. <laughs> The interface, I guess, goes. Uh. Yeah, everybody just feel free to yak amongst each other. I'm gonna I was trying to set the live stream up a little bit ago, but my Wi-Fi has been not the greatest, so... I think I actually had about 12 live streams <coughs> set up. <coughs> yeah, I'm just having a smoke here anyway, and... Uh... Get on to some other stuff here, I suppose. Trying to add big country, got a moderator there. Grandpa Kevin as well. I know you guys are uh, good with the live streams, so <laughs> you do it a little bit more than I do, so. Yeah, it's probably gonna buffer a bit.
I'm just gonna try, actually try to pop the phone in. <laughs> this will be all the stuff, you know, everybody uh, doesn't see behind the camera. <laughs> and that gets that on a tripod I can actually see at a normal level without having to crouch down. Yeah, I'll probably clean up a little, little bit on this. And if I do fire up the grinder there, you guys uh, turn your volume down for sure because I will be loud. I can't control that on a live stream. I don't. In the hay field. Nice, nice. <laughs> Peace and quiet time. I hear you. I hear you. That's what I use my back bush for. Go for a nice walk in the afternoon, even mornings, whenever. Yeah, I haven't been up to a whole lot. Like I say, just working on that steel plate here. Kind of a slow start. It was up real late. We had uh, one of our puppies fixed about three weeks ago. And uh, she's having a little bit of complications with the uh, incision uh, at the final stages of healing up. So needless to say, uh, take her to the vet tomorrow. So... Hopefully they can get that looked at and figured out. So yeah, it was a long night with her, trying to keep her from fiddling with her with her incision and whatnot. And my phone doesn't want to stay uh, on the tripod here very well. <laughs> Absolutely. Ain't grinding. Ain't working. That's right. I'm just having myself a quick break. Well, I'll be back out of here. Safety meeting. <laughs> oh, geez, ammonia. That's no good, brother. Take care of yourself. Get yourself feeling better. I've had that once when I was younger. That's no fun, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm going to get to grinding this. You guys feel free to chat amongst each other's. Turn your volumes down, I suppose, a bit. I'm here, I'm going to try and clean up, do another little painting uh, on this one, paint it up. I'm thinking maybe uh, do my YouTube channel name on this one. See how that turns out? I don't know. Watch out, bug, or you're about to become an idiot.
Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna round my edges and my corners off. Uh, I was doing something the other day, and I mean, not that it's gonna help a lot, but I backed into that in my backside, and oh, it gave me a, it, it hurt pretty good. And uh, oh, you know, you slip and you bang your hand, and gouge the palm, and well, right below my thumb, I gouged it out real good, so. But yeah, just kind of round the edges a bit in the corner, save from puncture impacts. Otherwise, it'll, you know, still gonna hurt me bang on it. But yeah, anyway, back at it. Fan of these uh, flat discs, but uh, I picked them up free at the dump. Figured, yeah, I can use them because they were free. Of that racket. I'm gonna wipe down here. Still left in there, make a bit of cool uh, textured look. Yeah, they are so pitted and rough anyway. Come along, come along. <laughs> Captain DC, how's it going?
Just reading the comments here. <laughs> I'll be there for hours reading them up. Check it out when it goes on the thing. Yeah, I got some cardboard all set up just uh, kind of down there on that plasma TV that I got set up. I got to do a video for Computer, what is it? Computer, Computer USA. Wanted to see you on a plasma and I happened to have one. So, but yeah, I'm going to throw in uh, gusts of wind here. Yeah, we're going to go with some fluorescent green, bright neon color. I actually used it on some uh, Halloween decorations that I made last summer, or last summer, last fall. <clears throat> and uh, it's blacklight responsive, so... <laughs> Let's give it a bit of shaking here. I should have shook it before. Good boy. Not be perfect, but see how it turns out. Not like that. Not like that. Yeah, I guess it'll work. We'll see. Of course, as soon as you go to put paint on, the wind picks up. <laughs> on now. You guys know what it's like. <laughs> All right, it's, oh my God, maybe a sec. Maybe I should have Sorry for the buffer and everybody. <laughs> I'm in can. Yeah. Anyway, we'll let the that set. Probably an hour or something between the coats. Fifteen minutes. Anyway, we'll head back up over here. Maybe it'll get a little better connection. <laughs> I do got to run to the house. You guys feel free to yak. I'll be just a moment or two. Anyway, we'll be right back. I need something to drink after that grinding.
I'm back, I'm back. Hopefully it's still streaming. <laughs> I just got myself a nice tasty root beer. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Much love, cheers. I'd like to try to do a little bit more of these live streams once in a while here. And uh, um, yeah, with my wife a little at uh, you know, Elon, whatever they call it there. I'll look into that. They have that here for the rural Alberta area. I think it's, I don't know, 200 or 250 bucks for the whole unit right now on a deal. And then about $140 a month for unlimited, <coughs> unlimited data. So that's uh, roughly what I pay for the Wi-Fi that I have, but I don't have right now. <laughs> so looking forward to that here coming up soon. Eight minute video can take me anywhere from eight to 10 hours. So roughly like a 10 or 20 minute video it was, I think. And it took, <laughs> what? Yeah, get uh, getting new internet hopefully soon. That'll just make things so much uh, more enjoyable. The whole uploading video, say it's it's kind of a pain on my end. I'd love to have a lot more content out there, but and I am kind of in the progress of still did actually have a video. And something kind of, I'd put it together and I was going to drop it and I ran out of memory on my phone so I was clearing up what I thought was some older videos footage that I'd already used and uh, wound up deleting that all together. I've done that with a bunch of videos. <laughs> but it gets gets it done, gets it done. I'll throw the camera on a on a mobile handheld unit here. Whoa! Shake everybody around <laughs> in the hopes that it uh, gets better signal. You know, outside some CRTs, CRT TVs in the box of the truck here. Uh, one of them's already popped down, and I picked up these other two. But uh, rather than carrying them back to the scrap shack, I'm just going to tools. Oops. Somebody ripping through on a side-by-side. -side. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Still got my couch cushions outside. Our wonderful little puppies got a habit of peeing on our couch cushions. So yeah, that hasn't been much, much fun. I got my outdoor couch cushions actually on my couch right now with garbage bags over them. Just ridiculous. I've never had, never had dogs or puppies that have ever, ever thought that it was a good idea to <coughs> pee on on the couch before. Yeah, that's just down in the evening, <laughs> watch some TV or something. You know, sit in a wet couch cushion. <laughs> and then I just uh, procrastinating. <laughs> Turn small stuff hard. I don't know. And, uh, that furnace. I want to do a video on that. And it'll be the first full furnace unit that I've picked up. It's still got the motor and all the goods in it. Yeah. Whole bunch of appliances. I think you guys have seen that in the videos, but 
I, well, kind of messed up this summer and fell off the wagon, right? So it's been uh, just about, uh, just over three weeks now, good uh, without a drop. So that second, into the second week and this last uh, days wasn't too bad. And after that, it starts to get a little hard, but done a whole bunch of cleaning with that stuff and thanks JC no that mean that means a lot I actually don't have uh, minutes on my actual cell phone right now so that's why I actually haven't been in the, the group chat there and all that good stuff this is our pet cemetery this is where we bury our past loved ones see you scrapping thanks for popping in brother how you doing this afternoon thank you yes yeah, so we, we have any of our pets that die pass away we uh this area here has been turned into flower beds for them rock beds we go to the rivers and pick rocks and whatnot and bring them here. So it'll just carry on this way over the years. <laughs> and build it up. It's all mulch, the leaves and stuff. I haven't really cleaned it up too much this year. I can say just uh, kind of a odd summer for me. But, uh, usually it's all nice, <laughs> red, red mulch through it and whatnot. At night it looks really ni nice. It's all lit up with uh, LED lights round through. Most of our yard is. Might not get to only disappear real fast. Red aggravation, but uh, it's for an older model F-150 than mine. And uh, so it doesn't quite fit on my box. I was gonna try to make uh, like mounting boards, but it just didn't look so great and uh i did have a for sale sign on it but it faded away <laughs> been sitting there a couple of years um, might actually take it back into the yard and set it up as build like little walls you could go in and a little doorway go in there and scrap under the rain or or something i don't know figure something out a buddy of mine said it'd make great for like a, a deer wind but just paint it camo i was like heck yeah actually that'd be pretty good and then you could just sit in there Had a couple of our little spruce trees completely die this year. Last year they were pretty rough. A tote of cedar mulch chips. But uh, actually down in around kind of the areas for the where the pet cemetery is there, and for some of the other flower beds that'll get spread around. Yeah, I think that's well, it's wet, so it's probably like 14, 15, but dry weight. I don't, I think it was about 1,200 pounds. It's about a yard, yard of mulch. And I want to say they figured about 1,200 pounds. It used to be uh, this flower bed is really overgrown, old relic, you know, things like that. Broken ornaments kind of go in there. Yeah, it's a little overgrown. The last year, we used to do a lot of that sort of stuff for work. For the last like 12. 12, 14 years, yard care and flower bed maintenance. So it's kind of like the mechanics thing. Our yard always looks looks like the ones we go in and clean up. But, uh, this was a Mother's Day my dad and I built for my mom years and years ago. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a heart shape, a goofy heart shape. Might be kind of hard to see. Oh, that just shakes. That's very good. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, a little walk around on my yard. 
those bits of it, make it into the video. Every time I found deer eating more, won't have much of a harvest. I do still have some, yeah, they ate them all off. <laughs> Garden, garden tent put back up, uh, set back up inside. Uh, as well, that was another thing that our dogs took to peeing on. <laughs> Never seen the likes of it. <laughs> yeah, so I know that the Wi-Fi isn't always the greatest for me, but I am going to try to do maybe some scrap streams scrapping streams and whatnot a little bit more of these walk through use my actual data plan again it's not huge but it uh it's definitely a better internet <laughs> so much stuff too many dump run videos and not enough scrap videos what do you guys say <laughs> Another one of my rods. Even when I'm editing, see uh, the reflection of the tripods, and I'm like, ah, oh, I got it in my sunglasses. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the dump run videos are probably going to slow down. Uh, I'm going to just try to... <clears throat> Focus on getting this stuff cleaned up. I figure we'll probably get a good one. Uh, yeah, GC, I'm using my, my phone. That's why it's hard to, even for me to keep up with the chat, it disappears. And that's why I go quiet. I try reading it and then... See you scrapping if you're still in here. I'm not sure. Uh, look on moving your... You chop so uh, it doesn't it doesn't work too good actually if you guys remember last year my first live stream and it had that horrible buzzing my procrastination piles <laughs> it's probably been 15 minutes since I threw that first coat of paint on of course something's always got to land on it oh yeah she's dry to the touch one good thing about the wind I suppose actually it looks kind of cool it's like where the brighter colors are in the bit of the dark darking darker colors it's got like Hulk skin <laughs> absolutely JC I love it that's uh, I've been I try to refer to it as my scrap account. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get a little break in the breeze here and throw another coat of paint on this thing here. I'm just gonna set the camera down so I can take off the spray paint. And I did more, I choose, or cho choose, chose the color just because the can is almost empty, so. Oh, are you kidding? The force of spray paint lids can almost be as bad as five gallon buckets stuck together. <laughs> Shh, shoe bug, shoe fly. Or you'll become a green fly. Imagine most of the paint will just chip off when I'm beating on stuff on it anyhow, but I got some fire truck red uh, trim clad paint, so maybe I can paint my paint, I don't know, bush dog scrapper or something cool on it once it's all good and dry. Reveal it in my next, next video drop or something. And here you guys will get to see the, the process.
And if it all chips off, well, just paint it again. Different color or something. She's almost empty now. Just spray it on there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Win, thank you. <laughs> I might have enough for a one more little dusting once that dries. Or unless the breeze slows down. I'm gonna have to go and plug the camera in here, the phone. I'm just got a 10% battery life. No, nope, no, nope. the wind doesn't want to cooperate. So we'll let that dry. We'll come back to it. Miss Crab Hound, buddy. My workbench bud. <laughs> yeah, I'll just grab the charge cord here. Clean my bench off one of these days. I tidied it up a little bit this morning. Yeah, she's a disaster still in the scrap shack. I did get a... Uh, well, I tore apart one of those little TVs that was on the stack there this morning yeah I've been just kind of actually going through are they uh, Steve SRT eight there his catch-all buckets well that's kind of what I've been going through is uh, you know catch-all containers right and it's kind of right there and I, that's uh stuff all for uh gold pins and whatnot for e-waste uh, gold recovery but yeah you know catch all buckets that's well i've added to it more cleaning up stuff but that's more just uh like your tin coated copper wires stuff that i still got to nip the connector ends off clean up all that good stuff uh, stockpile of decent cords off of things that still had uh, fairly clean plug ends on them not all corroded and whatnot so I do save some of them in case a person needs a you know a cord to put on something right bit of my enameled the number two copper building up in the bucket here uh, underneath that TV but it's it's all motors the yokes from TVs. I think I showed that in one of my videos, but got this fancy work light Dewalt. Work light she's bright. That's real nice for at night. When I'm scrapping or just you needing a real bright light. I have this other one here, but it uh Nothing not near as bright and the battery doesn't last very long. I've had it for a number of years, but but it's nice. It's got a plug-in cord, so you can just turn it on and keep it plugged in like a normal light. And Sebastian. <laughs> yeah, definitely uh lots of stuff in here to go through still. This will be never ending. I might have the man in the shed beat. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not yet. He's got a couple years on me, I think. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, I yeah. Wife does. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Take the cap off the spray paint cans and, and that's it. Just throw them away. I hear you. So set that down. Figure out. Oh, here I was looking for my pot. Yeah, 
yeah, definitely a beautiful afternoon. Every day I look out, I got less and less leaves on the trees. I'm kind of on a short leash here because I got the phone plugged in on the charger, so. I'm gonna take those glass, glass light lamp pieces off for my mom. Uh, you guys might have seen in a video there, she uses them, she plants flowers in them. It's actually kind of a cool idea, yeah. Reduces and reuses some of the junk. Yeah, scrap bins here. I definitely got enough, I'm sure I can do uh, a couple <laughs> runs to the scrap yard with stuff that would just be already done. You know, like I got microwaves and stuff kicking around that are, you know, full and... Well, because the scrap yard's a, a good hour plus drive each way for me. You know, I like to definitely make sure I'm going in with, you know, like a thousand pounds at least. Cost of fuel. You know, otherwise it doesn't really pay. You know, if a guy's running to the city or something in you, know, you can throw a couple hundred pounds in and it gets you the, the fuel money just going to town, but. Yeah. But I've been on here for about an hour, yabbering away. You guys have been awesome. I thank you all so much. But I uh, think I am going to end it. Everybody's got uh, something to do, I'm sure. And uh, yeah. Thank you so much. There will be more of these and obviously more live streams coming. <laughs> and uh, definitely more videos, obviously, as my Wi-Fi allows me. Let's pray for Starlink Internet to come soon. Nice. In a town or, you know, closer to town or a city. Living out in the country, you don't uh, you don't get too much. You know, you get call farmers and people if they buy an acreage or selling an acreage. You know, you want a big cleanup done. <clears throat> so I get kind of you know my my loads are sp sparing sparingly come in sparingly. Uh, the dump helps a lot. <laughs> and as funny as it is, uh, like they don't mind me filming around there too too much. Uh, it is kind of tricky sometimes because you never know when somebody uh, pulls up with their, their radio playing. So that's where some of my dump run videos just kind of cut cut off and then I'm back here at the junkyard. It's generally because somebody pulled up with their radio playing. And, uh, you know, I don't want to get demonetized for that sort of stuff. You know, sometimes it is quiet enough. You can barely hear it, but it's still there. It's still there. Uh, at the beginning of this stream, I actually had my radio playing for about the first 30 or 40 seconds because they didn't actually know if it was live you know sometimes you, you just get so used to your radio always playing that uh all of a sudden it's have a good evening brothers much love thanks for hanging out cheers we will see you in the next one Push dogs, and scrap pounds, junkyard things. I don't know. I thought it kind of sounded like an album, a band in an album cover. Maybe we'll have to go with that with the theme for the live streams. Much love, everybody. Cheers.